Hi, this is Bob Maslin, Blade on the Home Seer Message Board, and today I'd like to uh, talk to you about uh, BL reminders for Home Seer 2 and Home Seer 3. Um, what this plugin does is it basically gives you the, um, the ability to set up reminders um, such as weekly reminders, monthly, yearly for anniversaries and birthdays. Um, and allows you to set up multiple options for these reminders so that uh, you don't forget them. Uh, I know that's a big issue in my family. Um, kids, even my wife, forgetting stuff, so we put everything in here, baseball games and all that stuff, and it basically announces us, announces to us over the speakers that uh, we have a reminder coming up. Um, and you can really customize it, and we'll get into that here. So let me just start up BL Reminders. And the first page you come to is basically the list of all your reminders. So we'll go into the add list here and we'll go through it. So this here is basically give it the name, any name you want. Um, whether um, you can check this box to make it active or to make it a holiday. Um, start date, click on here, brings up a calendar. Basically select your start date and end date. If, uh, if you need an end date, if you don't need an end date, then like if it's a birthday, just put a start date in and um, it'll just keep going until you delete the reminder. Start time um, in the format of this so that would be the format or if it's PM uh, don't put any leading zeros in always leave it like this in in 12 hour format um, same with the end time 10 times exactly the same format. Category um, you can click any one of these categories or if you need a new one click the new category and type in what you wanted here and it will actually create that category for you uh, frequency uh, daily weekly bi-weekly so every two weeks monthly yearly once only like a doctor's appointment um, every X number of days uh, from the start date uh, and special so special special is um, here you can specify to the default um, speaker client in Home Seer that will receive their um, uh, announcements for this reminder only. Um, special day processing. When you select special here, um, you know this is for holidays like Labor Day, which is the first month, first Monday in September. So you can specify first, second, fourth, third, fourth, fifth, last, um, whatever day of the week in whatever months um, and it will set up the reminder for that um, so you got different options for the reminders you got on day speak options so if you check this then these three times whatever times you want they use the same time format as you did for the start and end time um, you don't have to use all three times you can use the first and second one or just the first one if you want um, so basically on these times that you specify you can either set up an event to run you can type in a script command and the format for the script command is seen uh, basically you gotta start the script command with an ampersand uh, and then any bb.net script command um, you can send an email multiple email recipients separate them with a comma uh, put in the subject uh, and it will basically send a re the reminder willing the, re the message of the email will basically be to do with this reminder um, and or you can have it do an announcement so whatever you type here will get spoke on these times that you set up on the day of the reminder <clears throat> if you would like reminders before the day then you use the days before speak options so you can basically set this to be um, 5 comma 3 comma 1 that would actually it would actually speak all these reminders for the three times and any of these options you specify down here five days before the reminder three days before the reminder and one day before the reminder so it gives you total flexibility over when you get those reminders you could put one in there and it'll just happen the day before uh, you can put uh, two comma one two comma one so it'll happen uh, two days before and the day before um, you you can just play around with it there's basically it should cover what most people would need uh, same options, event, script command, email, or an announcement. Um, and then we have countdown speak options. So if you set five here, this is good for like Christmas. 
um, you can set that five and it will basically five days before starting at five days before and all the way up to the day announce at these times execute these options at these times um, so that's basically it for the adding of reminders um, you can go in and edit is the same you have full capability to edit all those options that you were that you were just saw on the ad screen um, there's a calendar view of your reminders so you can go month by month all you do is hold the cursor here and it will tell you that the kids yesterday had a reminder of music at 6 p.m. so if you click on that that link it will actually take you to that reminder um, see this is a weekly reminder we have for garbage day on Fridays it just repeats every week because it's set for weekly um, just a quick way to view your reminders um, let's go to the options debug logging like I said um, if there's any issues debug logging really helps turn it on capture the issue turn it off go grab the BL reminders dash detailed dot log file in your home seer root folder and attach that to a help desk ticket on my website uh, date format two of these um, one you know one for US and Canada um, the UK they use a different date format so both dates are there for uh, depending on your preference um, now the server options are most people won't use if you use main lobby like myself I rely on it quite heavily um, this ability here allows you to use the BL reminders home seer plugin as a server for my plugin that I have for main lobby for ML server what it does is you put in the IP address of this server here which is on this machine that's the address and the port um, and this is the number of seconds to check if the connection client connection is alive if it's not it'll it'll uh, try to get a new one try to get a new connection to the client um, this like I said this works with main lobby um, the main lobby plugin for BL reminders so, um, what that does is let you let you send the data from the home seer plugin over to main lobby um, automatically so that it populates the variables in main lobby I use that all the time I have a calendar in main lobby that basically gets populated from from this um, then there's some some MLBL reminders plugin options for ML server you can include whether or not to include inactive reminders in on the main lobby side you can check that or uncheck it and uh, the format of the reminders how they're shown in main lobby in the variables um, is based off of this here field so you can so it'll just show the start time dash and then the name of the reminder and you could use the end time you could put the both the start and the end time in there um, however you want um, the calendar options um, include duration for yearly reminders so what that does is for birthdays um, for the reminder in the calendar uh, it will sh in brackets it'll show how old they're going to be um, or how many years they've been married uh, you can turn that on or off depending if you want to see that um, current day reminders device code so this is a um, this is the reminder this is a um, device code in home seer that you need to create uh, for current day and current week and if you if they are created every night I believe just after midnight it uh, the plug-in will populate these for the current day and on a Sunday night I believe populates for the current week um, use reminder name for populated devices uh, if this option is selected the reminder name is used otherwise the reminder announcement will be used so for these devices if you select this it will show the remain the reminder name otherwise it will display for the weekly reminders the actual announcement that you have in there if you have an announcement uh, the main lobby options you can set a reminder um, device code for day and week reminders and they'll get populated with a delimiter of a pipe um, in order to use them in main lobby uh, once they get over to main lobby they'll be converted into a, um, a break character um, X, um, HTML character um, because that's how the multi-line field in main lobby uh, likes things to be broken up 
but that happens automatically you don't have to do anything you just basically would display this variable here that you specify on the home seer side it automatically gets sent over to uh, home seer um, if you're using my BL um, ML to HS plugin um, all you have to do is specify the device code you put here in that and it will send it over to main lobby and set the variable for you um, enable reminder announcements if you don't want any announcements to be spoken you can turn this off um, or you can play a WAV file before every announcement if you want um, main message server options this is another this is a plugin um, an older plugin I'm not sure if it's even used a lot anymore but if it's installed on your system you can have it you can have uh, BL reminders send all the reminders to all the clients for this plugin uh, I have a plugin called BL Broadcast, which um, does the same sort of thing. Um, if it's installed in your system, you can you can send it all to all the clients, so that all the reminders will pop up in BL Broadcast. Um, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the plugin. Um, hope this has been helpful, and um, that's all for now. Thanks.